Yep. And of course, clean for the next person. Thank you. What's up guys? Welcome to a brand new video. And today for you guys, I have a day in the life video. Now before I say anything else, before I get into it, I actually need to go to my job and pick up my jacket because I forgot it there and it's becoming a bad habit. So I need to go over there, pick that up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and fill you guys in on what's going on and what I'm gonna be doing today. And you guys are gonna be joining me for the ride. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have my coat, <clears throat> as you can see. I'm feeling nice and warm, maybe even too warm because my heat is on fire right now. But <clears throat> right now, I'm heading on over Oh God, I apologize for the shakiness. That's really bad. But right now, I'm making my way over to Walmart so I can prepare for winter. I need to pick up some dry gas, some ISO heat, and I need to pick up some dry ice. Just not some dry ice, ice melt. Jesus, you're not getting dry ice at Walmart anyway. Holy crap, I apologize for the shakiness. But yeah, I need to go ahead and pick up <clears throat> some ice melt just to have it in the back of my car. And then I need to go ahead and pick up some of that dry gas because I really want to try my best to extend the life of this thing. And it's not exactly a bad idea to put dry gas in your car or ISO heat, especially ISO heat because the ISO heat is what's going to clean out the fuel injectors and help clean out the fuel lines and everything as well as prevent water buildup when it gets you know below zero so yeah I will catch you guys when I get to Walmart holy moly I really wish my van didn't shake I didn't think it was that bad but I guess when it's on film it really is that bad if I go below like 60 the shaking is somewhat tolerable but I'm only going below 60 because I'm behind a big truck and my exit is coming up anyway soon so I tell you everybody's a fucking idiot motherfuckers walk out in front of you and shit you know what I mean motherfuckers don't look but then if you hit them it's your fault even though they didn't look it's like bro you're a fucking dumbass guys I'm sitting in the parking lot and I have exactly 144,444 miles. So guys, it takes some, it takes some big, uh, well, I don't know what it takes, but to say the least, it takes some big perseverance to whip out my phone, at least to me, start whip out my phone and start filming myself in a public Walmart. Not only that, but it's the day after Thanksgiving, you know what I'm saying? And this place is packed. So, you know, the second I whip out my phone, everybody's gonna start looking at me. Or at least that's what I think anyway. I'm sure no one gives a fuck, but it's just what I think, you know? So, we are at the car section, the section I know best. Just need me some of this, some ISO heat. Premium. Fuel line, antifreeze, water remover, and injector cleaner, baby. I need all that. Now, I'm a little bit of a dumbass. I forgot my bag to put the ISO heat in. So I need to stop filming, get my ice melt, get my ISO heat, and I'm gonna come back at you guys when I check out. Guys, I am so glad I have tints because look at the glare. Look at how much glare there would be if there was no tin. It was worse just a second ago. But that's bad. Anyway, I low-key panicked at the freaking checkout. I low-key panicked at the checkout, so I forgot to film. But I, I forgot that Walmart doesn't have Apple Pay. And... I'm feeling all my pockets and shit and I can't feel my wallet. 
So I go up to the guy and I'm about to ask him if he could pay for my shit for me, basically. And I'm like, bro, you guys don't have Apple Pay here? I'm not like, bro, but I'm like, excuse me, sir. You guys don't have Apple Pay here? And I already know the answer. But, you know, I'm about to ask him if he could pay for my stuff for me because I forgot my wallet. And I could pay him back or whatever. <clears throat> and... He's like, no, no Apple Pay, sorry. And then the other worker is like, yeah, no, no Apple Pay, sorry about that. And I'm like, all right, all right. So as I'm about to ask if they can pay for my stuff, I feel my wallet, it's not in my coat pocket, it's not in my pants pocket, but it's in my sweater pocket. So I'm just like, boom, saved by that, saved by the fact I actually had my wallet, but shit, I don't even, I'm just glad I didn't have to go that route, man. I'm just glad I didn't have to ask the freaking worker to pay for my order for me. But man, saved by that, saved by actually having my wallet. Go, go figure. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying to figure out what else I could incorporate in this video. But to be honest with you guys, it's my day off. I'm not really doing much. I had something planned, but my homie canceled on me because he's doing some shit. And, uh, you know, no big deal really, but we were gonna go over to the card shop and just hang out. And really the only reason I bring that up is because I want to film a time lapse of me building a Gundam. I don't know if you guys know what Gundams are. I don't know if you're familiar with that type of stuff and stuff like that. But they're kind of like Legos. They're, they're like, they're not Legos, but they're like Legos in the sense you put them together piece by piece. So I want to film a time lapse video doing that. I would imagine it would only take like an hour to build, maybe an hour and a half. Especially if I go ahead and buy another beginner one. But I want to see. I want to see what I can do with that. I want to see what kind of footage I could potentially get over at that card shop. <clears throat> Quick side note though. It is honestly scary how many people don't fucking know how to drive. Sorry for cussing if it does matter. But it is honestly a very scary thing. People backing out of their driveway without even looking. You know what I mean? People pulling up to a red light quick as hell. It's like, it's a red light. Why are you pulling up to the red light quick? Like like you're about to stage for a drag race or something. Like what, what's going on here? What are we doing? And then on the way to Walmart, I had to wedge myself in between a car that was at a stoplight because they were turning left. And I had to wedge myself in between that car and a bus that was dropping passengers off on the side of the road. But I had the green light to continue going straight. But I was blocked by all this nonsense. It's like, get out of the way, man. If you gotta pull over, then pull over to the side of the road. Get out of people's way. Don't cause a traffic jam. Like, is it really that hard? Is it really that hard to just follow traffic laws? Stay out of people's way. <clears throat> 